I have a secret on how you can beat anyone in a race. It doesn't matter how fast they are. How is that possible? Let's consider. Hello philosophers, I'm Chico. Welcome to The Philosopher Show, where we consider the greatest questions in human history. I ran track in high school, and personally, my favorite race was the 4x400 relay race. I really loved the team aspect of it. Really, I was more of a football basketball guy, and I just ran track to get faster. And in case you don't know what a relay is, it's where one guy runs around the track, hands a baton to the next guy, the next guy runs around the track, four people go through it that way relay race. I was the anchor, like I was the last guy running. In my junior year, we made it to CIF finals. Now, I think it was like the top six teams medaled and we were getting schooled. We were in seventh place or whatever it was, it was one out of meddling. And I remember watching the third leg guy and he was way behind and I thought, screw this man, I'm getting a medal. So I just forgot about pacing. I threw all that stuff out of the window. I was like, I'm going out as hard as I can. And even though we were way back, I actually on the home stretch caught up with the guy that was in the place ahead of us. And I was so stoked until I saw the guy from Brethren Christian coming out of the perif and just smoked me. And I don't know if I just ran out of steam or what, but he soundly beat me. And I was so embarrassed that he caught me from behind. But since then, I've learned a secret. Ancient Greek wisdom, a philosopher named Zeno, has devised a way that you can never lose a race, provided that you get a little bit of a head start. So for our purposes, let's say the person you're racing against is named Achilles, and you are the tortoise. At time zero, you both start off at the starting line. At time one, you've actually moved forward a little bit, and Achilles hasn't moved just yet. And it doesn't matter how far you've moved, just the fact that you've moved a little bit, Achilles is going to try to catch up with you. Let's label time two, the time where he's gone from where he was at the starting point to where you were at time one. But think about it, at time two, you've moved forward a little bit, right? So now he needs to catch up with that place that you are at time two. Let's label time three, the moment where he catches up to where you were at time two. But once again, you've moved forward a little bit. Time three, you're further along. Again, he needs to go to where you are. So we'll label time four, the time where he gets to the place where you were at T3 and of Again, time four, you've moved forward a little bit, and we can keep on going this way all the way into infinity, and he never catches up with you, right? You will never lose again. Now, I know what you're thinking, this can't be right. That would mean it's impossible for anyone to catch up with anyone else. And yet it happens all the time. What's going on? Actually, Zeno agrees with you. He says, yeah, it is impossible. He's proved to you using sound reasoning that it's impossible for one person to catch up with another, and yet your senses tell you that it's constantly happening. Zeno concludes, therefore, motion must be impossible. And since your senses are telling you that things are moving, your senses must be deceiving you. This whole thing must be an illusion. And I don't just mean Achilles and the tortoise. I mean any kind of movement must be an illusion. There can't actually be motion. You might think, what in the world is this guy talking about now? Now, now just so you know, I don't actually think that. This is what this philosopher Zeno came up with. And we're gonna see there's a reason for us to study this in the first place. But before you just dismiss it as crazy town, let me say that there are some people that believe something similar to this. For example, way of knowledge Hinduism believes that all physical reality is not actual reality, it is Maya, an illusion. The only thing that really exists is the unchanging Brahman. Again, no change in motion is a type of a change. Of course, one problem with this is that if the illusion is changing, then something's changing, right? I mean, it's at the very least a real illusion. And if Brahman is actually having this illusion, then he's changing because he's having a different illusion from one moment to the next. But that's neither here nor there. The point is, we have a paradox on our hands. Given this line of reasoning, it seems like one person can never catch up with another, and yet we always see it happen. Now our options are throw out our senses, say that they are unreliable, or say that our argument is failing for some reason. Of course, we're gonna have to explain why it's failing. Now personally, I've seen enough arguments go awry that look so convincing that I think it warrants being very patient and checking out these arguments before we accept something that it seems so obviously false. The question is gonna be, why is it false? What is wrong with our reasoning here and what can it teach us? Personally, 
I think what's interesting about this paradox is that it shows us that we have a problem in our concept of infinity. But exactly why that is, I think only comes out when we see a few more of these paradoxes and we ultimately look at what exactly do we mean by infinity. So if you want to know more about that, check out my playlist on infinity. I'm going to start coming out with a bunch of different paradoxes, different ideas about infinity. It's going to be really cool and I think it's going to have really interesting implications for reality in general, for philosophy of religion, for philosophy of language. It's a fascinating subject. But let me know what you think in the comments. What has gone awry with this reasoning? If you think it's something with the reasoning. If you think it's our senses and you think the whole thing is an illusion, that is a fascinating idea. Let me know. Why do you think that? Again, best philosophy happens in dialogue. So yeah, hit me up on the comments and please let your friends know about this so that they can join the conversation as well. That's all I got for today. Adios.